All right, guys, so now we're, I believe, about ready to start doing some initial startup testing. First time you fire up a tube amplifier, it's kind of important that you follow some procedures, and so we're going to walk through that right now. So I want to show you guys my setup. You can see I've got a power strip here that has an on-off switch, and I've got my multimeter here, which is set to measure alternating current. You can see it shows 122.7 volts of AC coming out from this power strip. So then from there, we have a light bulb current limiter, which you see right there. The power cord from the light bulb current limiter is right here. That goes in to our power strip. Then over here, we've got the power cord that goes into the amplifier. So just as a test, I'm gonna take this is another power cord from a different tube amp that I have built. And you can see when I first plug it in, Turn the amp on, that's what happens. The light bulb will flash, and then it should die down. And this other amp is warming up and it's gonna work just fine. And then you turn it off, you can see it makes no sound. If I turn it back on, you can see a little flash of current. The bulb is illuminated, kind of dully. You can kind of hear the hum of the speaker, perhaps. But that's, a, a normal functioning amp should perform like that. Okay, now we're keeping an eye I'm gonna turn my power strip off. Got my multimeter. This is the power cord to my hi-fi amp. We're gonna plug this guy into the power to the light bulb current limiter. All right, so now, same setup. I've got my power strip with my switch. Power cord's going into here. Light bulb current limiter. Power cord into the IEC. Now if I touch this, Nothing, turn this on, 122 volts. Now, one thing I'm kind of curious about, if I switch this to my chassis, I touch that same spot, I get 74 volts and 47 volts if I go to these two plugs in my IEC. So I guess, I don't fully understand what that means. There's nothing there on the ground plug of the IC, but if I go to this hot lead again, again 74 volts compared to 47 volts. So I don't know if I have, it, that must be more related to the wiring of my house. So any experts out there know why that's happening, please let me know. But uh, if I flip my switch, now I've got my pilot light indicates I'm only getting about 10 volts it's 400 millivolts so it does not appear that I'm getting proper voltage output from my output transformer so we have to go back to the drawing board and see what's going on there Okay guys, so at this point, I have rewired my pilot light. Something about the way this 120 LED pilot light is wired, I'm not exactly sure, but basically now I've got it in parallel. So the 120 volts comes to here through the fuse, then it does have a direct path directly to the switch, into the power transformer, power transformer to the neutral, and then this is basically in parallel. I'm not exactly sure why that is. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here with this LED. Maybe I need to take it out of the series, but out of the circuit entirely. But um, right now, if I test on my diodes, there is no DC. Now, if I flip the amp on, you can see the pilot light or the this guy illuminates pretty aggressively and I get 148 volts of DC after the rectifier diodes. Let's see if we can track that. 143, 143, 
So that's all along my B plus step down if I test my filter caps. 139, 138, 137, that's good. I think now if we go to the plate of my 12AX7 tube, or not 12, my 12 you said 135 volts DC on the plate. My preamp tube. That one doesn't seem to be picking up. Hmm. Probably because it's not my plate. This one is. Yeah, 131 volts. So I'm getting I'm getting voltage on my B plus. So I think so far so good. I'm gonna pause here and pick it up again tomorrow, but I think so far so good. Alright guys, I ran into a little bit of an issue. I was running through some initial startup testing. I got 120 volts from the wall and my power receptacle right there. And I was getting AC to DC voltage conversion it looked like um, and so then I took the next step and I attempted to fire it up without the cur the current limiter and as you guys can see some right in here there's some burn marks there something sparked up I believe it's this line here from this yellow 6.3 volt going over here to pin 2. And pin 2 also has the rectified DC going this way to pin 8 and then going this way to this other yellow mark and then on down the line. So I'm not exactly sure if it's that interchange because actually these yellow wires are sending 5 volts of AC to the heaters but I'm not actually using that so I've just discharged my caps so I'm good to go there's my discharge tool so I'm gonna try maybe lifting this out of the, the signal these two yellow wires and see if that helps improve anything but don't really know why that was burning up it's not a good sign maybe we can fix it it looks like most of the burn mark is along the trace though and again, I don't need that trace. So as long as I can get my red wires here with my high current B plus through these rectifiers and then through the yellow wire or on down the line, you know, into my B plus, I might be okay. So we're gonna give it a shot, but so All right, trying this again. You can see my two five volt windings have been lifted out. I'm not gonna leave it like this. I'll, I'll tie them up, but just for the purpose of demonstrating, I've got my lead here hooked up this is my high voltage so I should be getting a pretty good amount of AC coming out and if I flip the power switch I get 388 volts of AC so that's good now if we switch this to DC go over here to the other side of my diode We got 542 volts. That's a lot. But I believe that should come down once I put tubes in. So I think so far, so good. Okay, so I did a little bit of rearranging and I took a look at my speaker setup upstairs. And this is what I have for my current output jacks. And I don't know if that makes a ton of sense with how I'm going to have this upstairs because I actually don't have like plugs for this and I look at how I have my I got my speakers down here and I basically just hardwired them and and the output on my receiver they they just have a pressure fit so um, I just took some speaker wire I think this is 18 gauge and I just hardwired it to these jacks so this is hot, this is ground, and this is continuity with the chassis. Hot, ground, continuity of the chassis. And so I just hardwired that. And one goes over to that one, one goes over to that one. You can see I've got a little shrink tubing covering that up. So my speaker outputs are wired. Then I've got quarter inch in. 
And honestly, I think we're maybe ready to test it out with some tubes. Let's do it. So far, so good. Just a little bit of a... Oh, I'm hearing something. There's sound coming out of my speaker. Ah! <laughs> so far, so good. The tubes are definitely the filaments. You can see some light going on. I can hear a little bit of noise coming out of there. My light bulb current limiter is illuminated very dimly, but illuminated. Nice. Okay. I think what I want to do now is take some plate voltages. All right, I got a little test rig set up. Chassis is firmly secured using these blocks of wood. I'm not going to be touching anything because I've already got my probes. My negative is here. This is put onto pin 5, which is the plate of my 6v6. I have two 6v6s in, no preamp tube in. We're going to turn it on and see what kind of DC voltage we're getting on the plate. Light bulb current limiter is in line as well. So we're coming up to voltage. Hearing a little bit of a buzz or hum from the speaker. My DC voltage reading is... All right, clipping this to the chassis. So let's just take some DC measurements here. Again, I'm only using one hand. Coming out of the main diodes. 222 volts AC here. After the power transformer. Now on the other side of the diodes. 151. I think this is my plate. It's jumping around again. I'm not sure what's going on there. More pronounced hum from the amp. 437 volts DC from the rectifier. 429 volts on my screen grid. There's my plate. 425. I'm sorry, I was going I was going to the wrong pin. I was going to pin five, not pin three. I think pin five is my input grid. So 425 volts on the plate. 428 volts on the screen. That seems kind of should be less. 431 on pin six. Let's check my heaters while we're in. 3.3. I don't know if the fact that I'm getting a hum like that is a good or a bad thing. I guess we'll try a preamp tube. Alright, I got various preamp tubes here. 12AU7, 12AT7, 12AX7. We're going to give them a shot. Some of these are kind of old, vintage. We'll start with this RCA 12AU7. Well, we're just going to try this. I got a guitar, quarter inch cable. There's sound coming through. Not much though. The hum is louder than the guitar. <laughs> 